Whew, trying to catch my breath. Wait a minute. Can't catch my breath. I can't see the sun's in my eyes. But I feel great. I feel amazing going into March. <laughs> This was exhilarating. Oh my God, it was amazing. Oh, they're doing some work, so I hope you can hear me. Um, definitely a lot easier going down than going up. I will say that, but for the last day in the month of 2024, I definitely pushed myself to the limit, definitely. So, um, so glad I listened to my intuition when it said get up and go for a run because it was everything got my heart rate up to like 170 did about a mile I pushed myself a little bit I did Not a little bit a lot I did I pushed myself a lot because I'm going into a new month why not why not go that extra mile and I definitely did well not literally, I didn't go the extra mile, literally, but I did go the extra mile and just pushing myself, pushing myself to run a little harder. Me, I don't do a marathon. I ain't out here trying to compete with nobody. I ain't doing no marathon. I don't compete with people, period. So I definitely ain't gonna compete out here. I run slow and steady at a good pace. It's comfortable for me and I take my time with it, not in a rush. So slow and steady is what works for me. I'm now out of the mountains and I'm gonna head back to my car. Yeah, this is the mountains and I am finished my workout. According to this, I accomplished what I needed to accomplish, so I'm out. I'm back in the car, hey, to hydrate and have my movement meditation moments with you. So, we're going to talk about, briefly, February. It's such a beautiful day. I decided, you know what? I'm not going to sit in the car and have a conversation with you. You see all this beauty over here? You see all that? I'm going to sit right over here on one of the rocks. And we're gonna have a conversation. Hey y'all. Look at that. I have no idea what that stuff is on my sneakers. I just walked across some grass and I don't know what that is, but it's nature. They can be cleaned, right? And these are my good sneakers. I don't know why I have them on. It's so freaking beautiful out here. Oh, I had to wipe the lens, so can you see me better? How's the angle? It's so beautiful, it's so peaceful. People are at work, the kids are at school. This little area right here, hmm, it's quiet, it's peaceful. So I figured, I like my car diaries though. I'm gonna try to do this as best I can without my, uh, oops. Oh, there's sticky things on the bottom of my sneaker. Wow, I gotta be careful. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Look at these. What the hell is that? What in the... They're sticky too, so I stepped in something. Listen, I don't know if that's to prevent you from walking over here, but definitely won't be walking over here with no shoes on, and I'm good for <laughs> not having shoes on. I wish I had my tripod, but... I didn't bring it. I just, uh, I knew I wanted to go for a run when I woke up and that was the goal. So goal accomplished. February, let's talk about it. February was good to me. It was good to me. Um, I was ready for it. A new year for me is not January 1. It is my birthday and February is my birth month. So was looking forward to a new chapter. I was looking forward to ending 
another chapter because I had did so much and I gave it my all and it was time to move into a new chapter. So that was good. I accomplished all of my goals that I set for myself for February. I'm on target for the year. I'm staying on my meditation. I'm committed to my workouts. As you can see, I've been out here. I actually committed back in October before we went into the new year. And I'm still here in 2024. The number one thing I wanted to do was get out more. I wanted to meet people and be in my element because, you know, writers are creative. Writers are also very particular about where they spend their energies and how they spend their energies and with whom because that can be really key to um, your mental and my mental has to be clear. Listen, if anybody gonna mess my mental up, it's gonna be me, nobody else. Surprisingly, there really was no challenges in February. I set a goal, I worked at it, like I do my workouts and my walks and my runs, slow and steady. My pace is always slow and steady. So as long as you're going slow and steady, you're moving forward. So it doesn't matter how fast you get there. Someone may get there faster than you. Slow and steady, at your own pace and anything you set out to do hmm you see all this out here i moved out here i want to say when did i move out here it'll be almost four years since i moved out here this was my dream to retire early come out here and write and look at it i did it um in a year that every body the whole world fell apart you know what year that was 2020 and i'm doing it it hasn't all been easy but i'm not going to say hard some parts have been more challenging than others but when i think of how far i've come and the fact that i'm still here every day i wake up in awe when i see these mountains every day every day even in the evenings when the moon come out I just wake up in all that I'm here. I did that. I did that. So my tip, slow and steady. Take your time. Go at your own pace. And you will achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. So on that note, I got some errands to run. So I get out of here. So I'm going to get up off this gravel. Try to figure out what is on my feet because I don't know what that is. Pick up my belongings and I'm gonna head out. But it's been real. This was so exhilarating. It was so what I needed. It's amazing how your intuition and your body knows what you need before you do. Mine woke me up and said, you need to go for a run. I didn't even give it two thoughts because you know what? I'm learning to trust my intuition. My intuition is me. I'm going to trust me. I'm going to trust that I know what's best for me. I'm going to trust that the universe is working it all out for me. So when I woke up and the intuition said, go for a run, shower, got myself together, and the mind was already made up. Go for a run. And I'm so glad I did because I feel liberated. I'm going with how I feel. And I feel liberated. I feel great. So looking forward to a new chapter in 2024 the month of march 2024 is a new chapter because it's never been here so yeah this is good bye